Good morning, everybody. We moved into the kitchen because, well, because I didn't clean up my studio mainly because I just didn't have time. I got absorbed in other projects like weeding and things like that. And so we're actually going to be out in the kitchen. It's much easier and we have more space. So welcome to our kitchen. Jelly's here wearing Hello. her green and her hat. And um, we've got Noah here. Say hi, Noah. Hello. Okay. And we're also live on Instagram because there are some people that don't do Facebook. So, and today we're going to do some gnomes. We thought, so I had done these gnomes at a paint party at, where do we do those? Chick-fil-A, a couple other places. And so I thought, hey, it's St. Patrick's Day. Let's celebrate with doing a leprechaun gnome, okay? So then we're gonna do a fun little painting. We're gonna draw first. So if you've got a pencil, that would be fantastic. I'll do a guided drawing. And then um, today, Jilly and I are gonna paint with acrylics. She has got, I gave her a little bit of a selection and I'm going to use just, um, the primaries and white and black. So that way, if you have, that's all you have at home, it might help you out a little bit with a little color mixing. So. I'm probably gonna mix my own colors. Also, maybe I'll put that guy right there. And then we're gonna do ours on watercolor paper, even though we have acrylics. I actually love to paint with acrylics on watercolor paper because I, if I always painted on canvas, I wouldn't have a place to store those. So, anybody, welcome everybody. Hi, Mary Kim, my good old Chicago buddy. How long ago was that, Mary Kim? 20-something years ago. I can't be that old. How'd that happen? Anyway, hi, Heidi. So, let's see. Let's give everybody a couple more minutes to get on here. You have your pencil ready. And then, I only brought one of these out. We're gonna share. Oh, you know what? You could use the palette Unless there's actually two. Okay, you keep yours over there. I'm gonna keep mine here. So we're just, so the things we've got, we've got, I've got a pencil, I've got a little liner brush, um, I've got a wide flat brush and a big round brush. She has kind of the same thing going on. I have a paper towel here for cleaning off my brush. And, then we've got a big jug of water over here you can't see. And then we got some paper towels, paper. I think we're good. Okay. Our colors, so I've got, I'm using these today. These are um, a fluid kind of acrylic, basically the same consistency as craft acrylic. Um, they're made by DecoArt. I actually really like them. And then she's gonna use just a collection of I have lots of deco art because I am a, um, what do they call it, helping artist for them. And so I get a lot of their products. And actually it's my favorite craft store brand, this deco art Americana, making sure that they have the gold lid because those are better quality. I like their paints a lot. So she's just got, I just grabbed some for her. And you could even use my white. I gave yeah. you cream. Okay, so is everybody ready? Oh, hi, Amy and Hannah. And then we have Lillian and Brenna are watching too. Say happy Thanksgiving. Happy. Brenna is Jilly's good friend from school. Thanksgiving. You know, it's because you're wearing the hat. <laughs> it's my St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I don't even know what day of the week it is. Sorry. Whatever. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's St. Patrick's Day. I'm not even a big St. Patrick's Day person, but you know. You're missing band right now? Yeah. You're sad about that? I mean, kind of. Kind of? She's just missing school. She's really going to be missing it in a few weeks. Okay, so let's get started. So what we're going to do is we are, I'm going to leave this guy right here. He's a smaller one. And then you can see in the background, I put up the ones from Valentine's Day. Kind of over my shoulder here, my Valentine's Day ones. So I'm going to draw backwards for you guys. Okay, you have your pencil? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with the nose. And so we want, we're just gonna break them down by shape. So this nose is 
basically an oval, okay? And so I'm gonna put him kind of in the bit, middle of the page and we wanna do a nice, good sized nose because we want to make sure our gnome is built off of that and is going to fill up our space. We don't want to do a... Well, he's a leprechaun gnome. Okay, so I'm going to draw. And I'm using my lightest touch. Can you even see that? a big nose. <laughs> I'll do it darker so you all can see. So I've just got my gnome nose right there, right in the middle of my page. Okay. Oh, don't worry about it. So she's erasing, but I always tell everybody, don't worry about erasing. The paint is going to cover it up so it doesn't matter. Hi, Noah. Hi, Nate. I'm so excited. All these ace kids are joining me. Oh, Lucy and Rosie are here, too. I miss you, Lucy. All right. Those are some of my homeschool kiddos, so... It's fun to see all the kids on here. Okay, and so at home, if you don't have acrylics, that's okay. You could you could draw and then color it with your crayons, with your color pencils. You could paint it with your watercolors. Whatever. It, this is your art project. So, and if you don't, if you want to do a Thanksgiving gnome, do it. Since I seem to think it's Thanksgiving. All right. So here we go. The next thing we're going to kind of do is come in and do a hat. So I'm gonna come out from right here, halfway down the nose, because we want that hat to kind of cover his nose. That's what makes him so adorable. And I'm going to come down a little bit and then do kind of a band, just like that. Let me do it darker for you. I, it's such a habit for me to draw lightly. There we go. And then I'm just going to kind of do a soft triangle. Bring that up like that. You can look at the screen. <laughs> and then if you want him to have one that comes down, I'm bringing that down. So see, I went, there's my soft triangle for the full part of the hat. And then... I'm gonna bring down this part. We have another, some other friends here. Oh, Cairo's kids, Caleb and, is it Eliana? Yeah. Welcome. Lots of Northern California kids. Do we have anybody here that's not from Northern California that I haven't met yet? Hi, Miss Angie. Oh, we have Miss Angie here. She is in Nebraska. I bet it's a lot colder there. And I'm gonna put a little ball at the end. So see how this could be a Thanksgiving gnome <laughs> or a St. Patrick's Day gnome or a Christmas gnome. You're welcome Heidi. See you later. Okay so now we've got to get our nice and droopy beard which so I'm just gonna basically draw a shape of a a beard nice and big and you can change the shape of it if you like make it you can make it jaggedy for hair but we can also switch that up as we go along okay and then he needs some feet doesn't he so down here the feet if you look at them they're basically just another kind of oval shape and we will just come out you can do any kind of gnome shoes you want to do. So there's my basic shape, okay? Oh, we've got Miss Trina on here. Albert's mom. Noah says hi. <laughs> he's just giving us a teenage nod because he's my tech control. Okay. He's so cute. Mm -hmm. He's so symmetrical. No, that's a... Mm -hmm. It's good. It's very, it speaks very much of her personality. Okay, so yes, now we get to start painting. So when I'm doing these gnomes, the first thing I like to paint is this nose. And so we need to make a flesh kind of tone. And so the best way, of course, to make that is to make a brown. Um, if you have flesh tone, 
fantastic. Julie kind of has a little bit of an orangey color there. I'm going to put my primaries out on my plate. Some red here. We had a red explosion about five minutes before we got on here because so now I store my paints out in this in our third garage. Oh hi Eleanor and we had a critter that took up residence out there for a couple weeks and I didn't realize I was carrying in the other red and he had eaten this and I was walking through the house like this so it looked a bit like a crime scene. So we were scrambling. I'm gonna put some white in the middle. I'm not gonna get any black yet. Um, so here's what I've got, my primaries and then my white. Can I have some of your blue? Yes, you may. Because my blue is down. That's okay. Yes, and you can't make blue from nothing, can you? But is there blue in there? Remember I put in our little in our little art kit I put the primaries. I'm just telling her where they are. It's kind of tucked beside the markers, but it's okay. You can use mine too. It'll mix just fine. All right. So, I need to make a brown. And so we go about doing that by I'm going to take some yellow and oh. some blue. It just exploded. It's okay. Art's messy. We just go with it. And then what did that make me? It's beautiful green. So, we kind of talked about this yesterday. Complementary colors. So, if I want to turn this green into brown, I need to mix it with this complement, which is directly across, which is red. So, red's a pretty powerful color. So, I'm just going to take a touch and mix. I could put a little touch of water, loosen it up a bit. Need a little more. I'm not making a lot because here we're getting brown now. There, I've got some brown. Now I'm going to add some white so we can really see where we're at. Because mine's going to be... He's a, it's a bit taupey, so I'm going to... And it's a bit green. See that? So I'm going to add a little more red. Okay, can you you can just ask instead of reaching. What would you like? White, please. Thank you. Real life. Real life. Even the dogs are here. So here we go. Oh. And you have that little flesh. You can use whatever colors. It doesn't matter. You've got this color here that's a little peachy, but you could turn it a little bit. This is a little purple, so I'm going to go with a little bit of yellow. This is the only really big color mixing we need to do, and it's a tricky color to make. If you, another way to make it would be to, if you've got some burnt sienna, like a terracotta color, and mix that with some white, that's a great flesh tone. We're just going to go with this color here for time's sake. More white. Someone Who knows to... what color? Someone wants to know where Rugby is. Where is Rugby? He is being a rug right down here because he is a Velcro dog. And Velcro dogs want to be touching their humans all the time. He's also covered in red paint. And he's got red paint all over his leg from our little paint issue. Hi, Albert. And then, all right, let's just paint this. This We could be mixing all day. I get a little obsessive about my paint mixing, so we're just going to go with this beautiful taupe color. All right, I'm just going to block in that nose. Maybe he's a little cold. You can use some of mine, too, if you want. It's okay. I'm trying to, I'm going to make it a little pink. All right, so we've got this nose, and so that way, the reason I'm doing the nose first is just so that um, it's dry by the time we come in for the hat and the beard. 
And so here's a little paintbrush tip. To clean off my brushes, I like to um, paint out all my paint like this on... Oh, Miss Angela's here, Jilly, and she's saying hi, and she likes your hat. Hi. So I paint it out first in there, and then I give it a good swish in my water. Because have you ever had paint brushes that get just super stuffed with paint, and they're hard to clean out? I find that if you get all that paint out of there first, so see how clean my brush is now? It's got a little residue, but I'm okay with that. All right, so now we need to go to the background. And so you want to think about it just a little bit. So I'm going to be doing a leprechaun gnome, which is going to have green. So I want, I don't want to make a green background because then he'd be a camouflage gnome, right? So I'm going to think about what's kind of a cross from green because that is a complement. Those are complementary colors. They're going to make my gnome look his best. I'm going to kind of go in this area. I'm going to avoid red because I just don't want a Christmas gnome. So I'm going to kind of come over and do this purpley violet side. Okay, what are you going to do? I'm going to do purple. You're going to do purple? Okay. So for that, I'm just going to let it mix on my paper. I'm going to take a little dip of this red and a little dip of this blue. And see, see, look, that beautiful purple. I like to let my paints mix on my canvas. I just like the... Um, the brush stroke work happening and the texture that it and I might want a little white in here you see I'm just coming around kind of outlining him and then blocking in this color We're very close here. I like the variation. Just spreading out that paint like that. Red, blue. And I'm making one side lighter than the other just for interest and Maybe my light is coming from this way for him, so I'm going to keep it darker down here. All right. How's it going, Noah? Good. It is good. Is anybody painting along, or are you just watching? Yeah, I think there's people painting along. We didn't have anybody from somewhere besides Northern California? And you can see I'm not being super careful either because that is that is one beautiful thing about acrylics. It's very forgiving and it's a polymer based paint, plastic. So once it dries, if there's something I'm not totally happy with, it will cover right up. And same goes for my lines. I'm just trying to block in this color. Oh. And I, you can see I've got a little bit of a variation going on here. Um, Heidi Delamar says they're painting. Oh. And Greta, Lillian, and Miss Courtney are painting. I saw Miss Courtney sent me a photo of their, their dining room table all set up. So Courtney is a good friend of mine, and her girls go to school with my, well, now mm -hmm. just Jilly. And they're having a family paint party, which I love. I love it when the parents join in. That's awesome. Oh, uh, Mom. What? Um, Kitty Gold asks to slow down a bit. You're painting too fast. Okay, I'm going to stop right now, Katie. And the other idea is also um, that, remember, this is going to be saved. So you can always come back and pause with the pause button, but um, I will stop for a second. I know, I'm super yeah, speedy I because I paint all the time. Well, well, I'll use Jilly as my um, guide. She's still catching up here too. Brenda's wearing her hat too. Really? Oh, hi, Miss Kathy. <laughs> so Miss Kathy's, um, she's awesome. She's the mom of one of the teachers at our little elementary school. Her grandsons go to school with my kids. 
her daughter teaches with my kids. So here's where I'm at. Jilly's getting there. Um, she's amazing, and she let me massively paint all over her fence in her yard, which I love. We love seeing you too, Miss Kathy. What is Miss Melanie saying? I actually caught you. I actually caught you. Oh, she's at lunch. lunch. Well, have a good lunch break. All right. How you doing? Just getting my darker shade. In. Oh, she's making a darker shade. So Jilly's mixing on her palette. She um, just has a different technique. And that's okay. All artists, I actually still love watching... Um, I watch art videos all the time, don't I, guys? Oh, Renee's on. Renee? Hi, Renee! She's my BFF art person. She's my art BFF. See you later, Melanie. Have a good day at work. I love your fence, too, Kathy. It was super fun, and I love painting murals. I don't get to do it very often, but it was a super fun project. We painted these. She and her friend drew it, and then I came in and did all the painting for it. Are you joining? Are you painting with us, Miss Renee? Are you just watching us? Okay. Julie's checking along. Oh, you're welcome. Somebody just said, thanks for coming to our church for St. John's Vacaville. Yeah, so I, I've come there a couple times. Um, and so it's such a great, fun group of ladies. Their church has um, a ladies art night. One in the fall, we did pumpkins. And then in the... Um, Last week, actually, we did a mixed media project, which was super fun. I love that. And I love doing private classes and workshops. So if you ever want that, give me a shout out. Um, I only do a couple public ones and actually don't have any coming up because I had a couple and they've been canceled due to all the, um, just the events with the coronavirus. So... Oh, we need to do our what are we thankful for being stuck at home with our mother day. Oh, again? Yeah, every day. There's something new to be thankful for every day. Right? Yeah. What are you thankful for, Mr. Technology? Um, lots of time to relax. <laughs> I think he said that yesterday. He said lots of time no. to relax. No, I said not being at school, so I don't have to stress. Oh, yeah, yesterday was his thankful for not being at school and having a break from the stress. Today is he's thankful for the time to relax. Are you are you wearing green, Mom? I well, ow. You aren't wearing green. You're in my social bubble. I think we're you. social distancing. She pinched me. No, so this is in the green family. This is the closest I know. Being a redhead, you'd think I'd have all kinds of green, but I don't. It's it's what it's about your deep. Camouflage? It's sea green. Your camouflage. Oh. No, I think it's clean, but this is what I had hanging up. That means it's clean, but it's still in the laundry basket. So, okay. Is everybody caught up yet? No. I am wearing green, Miss Kathy. It's sea green. There are millions of shades and hues and values of green. And so today I'm rocking this sea green color. So... Oh, thank you, Noah. I bet you're doing a great job, too. So those that are painting along with me, I would love for you to drop a picture below so we can see your projects. That would be awesome. Oh, Courtney's almost caught up. So, you know, Jilly, get your paint on. Come on. More ask questions. We're just blocking in color. Let's, we're not getting, don't get caught up in all the perfection in, of it like with acrylic it's important to build up layers so um i like to just come in and block in the colors of each section it is not blue trina it's sea green you still need to do your thing i will and so i'm gonna block in all my colors and then we'll come in with our shadows and highlights and add more colors so my thankfulness is that um 
I don't even remember what I said yesterday. You said that you liked being here. I liked being home with my kids. And um, I have enjoyed, I actually have enjoyed this. I'm an introvert, so my inner introvert was like super excited to be locked at home for a few weeks. But I've been able to do this, which is fun. I'm still getting to create with others, which is one of my loves. So anyway, oh, somebody on Instagram got pinched today too. I bet you had some shade of green on. You're gonna paint it this afternoon, awesome. Sometimes it's easier just to watch and then come and do it again later. The extroverts are not okay. I know, that's why Jilly actually misses band, band because she doesn't love, she doesn't even love band. She loves music and singing, but she doesn't love band and now she misses band. So she is our family extrovert. Noah and Summer, my oldest, are loving it, although Summer is missing her best friends. She went out to do some soccer training with um, just one coach today to get some exercise because all her soccer stuff's canceled, which is very hard for her. Okay, you ready? All right, so now. You always forget about me. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the curse of the third child. I'm so sorry. What are you thankful for, Jilly Joe? I got to make hot honey chicken last night yes. for my family and everyone loved it yes so we're doing i made the kids pick out a recipe on sunday when i before i sent my husband to the grocery store because he had to go to base anyway for work to check on some stuff and so she picked a recipe hot honey chicken and had this crusty panko on it and um so it was so good like, we were all sad the chicken was eaten up. We wish we'd made enough for leftovers. So I was actually really thankful for that, too. So I'm excited to see what Noah's meal is for tonight. What are you making? Uh, bulgogi tacos. She, he's making bulgogi tacos, and I've had them before, and they are divine. So I'm excited for that. Okay. All right, we're having cooking boot camp. And then this afternoon, we're making our list of what school everybody has to do every day. Yep, it's gonna be awesome. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with our hat. And you can tell I'm still gonna use my big brush. I like my big brushes to block in colors. I haven't touched my round brush yet. I'm gonna start out with a green. So how do we make green? Yellow and blue. Yellow and blue, so I'm gonna touch some yellow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch a little bit of blue and a lot of yellow. See that? Because the blue is more powerful. So I'm gonna come in here and look what's gonna happen. Boom. And I got this beautiful. So these are gonna make, if you're using um, just primaries and you're like, my green isn't as vibrant as Miss Christie's green, that's okay. Sometimes, depending on the brand and the quality, you may have different kinds of green. Just know that, you know, if it's too yellow, you need to add more blue. If it's too blue, add more yellow. It might be a little more dull, but every gnome is unique and we like all of our gnomes. So it's all good. And I'm letting some of those brush strokes happen. See, Jilly's got this soft lime coming in. I love that. Did you add white to that? No. You added water though, didn't you? My hand must have been wet. Right yeah, her paintbrush was wet. That's okay too. So I'm just coming in. I am taking my brush strokes across so that any brush strokes that are left there, like that, just add to the texture of my gnome, his hat. I'm gonna come in here and purposefully leave some other colors. And I might come in and give him some white stripes later. Hey, you know what? We should add a little shamrock. Let him hold a little shamrock. How about That'd that? Cool. Want to do that? Because the one back there is holding a heart. Yeah. See? I was just inspired to do that. Okay. And right now I kind of lost that line there. I lost this line here, but that's okay. 
I'm just going to kind of come in and let my brush strokes find it a bit. And then when we come in with our shadow and details later, we can add that. We could have him hold a pot of gold. Oh, okay. Why don't you have a pot of gold? You could put a pot of gold next to him even. I'm going to have him hold a little pot of gold. Okay, good call. She's going to make hers hold a pot of gold. I'm going to just... I'm coming in here and streaking it up with some yellow for interest and texture. Can you see that? Oh, Brenda put a shamrock on the end of her hat. That was clever. That's a good idea, too. So I'm going to paint out this just a bit. All right, pencil. So a shamrock. What shape is it? It's got four leaves, and the leaves are a bit like a... a Heart. Oh. Oh, yeah. So see that? Oh, Miss Robin's here now. I'll do a little darker. So it's a bit like a heart. Wait, don't we have to draw his hands too? We'll get there. So there they are. Four hearts touching each other. And then maybe a little cute little stem. Okay? And if you want to have hands, you could sketch those in too. I'm just doing like an oval. We're not going to get into detailed hands. This isn't a drawing class. And I may erase these just for visual. <laughs> My gnome's nose is purple. I'm going to have to come in with some pink and... But I didn't erase that perfectly. It's okay. Oh, I I'm going to come in and paint his little hands with my round brush a little bit. I'm just blocking it in. How's everybody that's painting along? Are you catching up? You catching up? How are oh, my, oh. my dulled girls? Robin likes my hat. Of course <laughs> Thank she you. Does. Robin likes everything about Jilly. It's hard not to. It's hard not to like everything. Are you making your nose bigger now? No, I'm making the ring go around his nose. Oh, like the so there'll the be pot? wrinkles? No. The, 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 the pot has the handle, and the handle goes over his nose. Like he's holding it, and then he Oh, it cute. Over. Okay, I get it. I get it. Hi, Miranda. Oh, yep, you better get your green shirt on. She's over on Instagram watching. And Miss Maisie, she's watching on Instagram. Okay. So I'm going to take some of that green that I had. I'm going to I am going to use my round brush. Because it's a smaller space. And I'm going to block in My little shamrocks. Just like this, and I'm still using a big brush. He has three fingers. I do feel for those, you know, so I've had to cancel all my work for a couple weeks. And thankfully, you know, my husband, he is in the military. So he will not get canceled, of course. So we're okay. But I do feel, I really feel for all the people that are home and not working. And, um... I know it's hard, so. Um, Shalana Richardson asked, how do you do the pot of gold? Oh, sh Noah and Nate's mom wants to know how to do the pot of gold. Do you want to show them? Um, so, okay, you want to tell? And I'll hold Jilly's up. So her idea was, go ahead. Um, what I did is I put a little rainbow 
around the nose. Yeah, the like a, the nose. a rainbow, because she's going to have his nose mm -hmm. peeking out through the handle. Yeah. And right there. I did another line to make it uh, like a little boxy type of handle. And then I just put a little... Yeah, so here's her handle. And then she drew this part, which is basically another U. You see that, guys? And then a little line across here. You see that? How she kind of put that in, and then she's blocking in some hands. Is that helpful? Otherwise, I can pull out a piece of paper and um, show you. Oh, Lucy and Rosie, they just skipped the background and are painting, and they're ahead now. Way to do it, girls. Okay. Now, I think we'll block in our, our feet. Okay. I am going to use a little bit of black for that. But I'm not going to use pure black. I just put a little black in there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it purple with a touch of black. Because I want them to be a little bit different, so, but I'm not a big fan of plain black. And I'm doing, I, I have that purple background going on, but they'll, they'll come out a bit when um, we add our highlights. So right now we're still just blocking in our spaces, right? Yep. Oh, this one turned out kind of navy, I like that. I have the black you have black right there, too. Oh, oops. That's okay. I do like the texture of these fluids. Okay. All right. Oh, you know what I forgot? What? I forgot this part of his hat's green, too. It is? Yep. It's okay. See? I get so distracted chatting with you all. And I forgot that part. I'm going to block it in real quick. Yellow and blue. I just dipped. Letting them mix together on here. Yellow, blue. While I have this green dry, I'm going to come in with some blue and just add some curves for some sh starting my shadow and stripe. His purple nose is cracking me up. It looks like he's like uh, cold. Yep, he's very cold on St. Patrick's Day, not Thanksgiving. <laughs> Did you find a green shirt, Miss Miranda? All right. Now we're going to come in. We need to do the base of our beard. And I like to, instead of laying in white, I'm thinking of the bottom layer first. And so I'm going to put in actually a little bit of gray so that as we add the white highlights to his beard, this one's a darker gray, but that it will add that texture and that fullness and that depth, okay? So to do that, I'm going to touch just the tiniest bit of black and then load up with a bunch of white and I'm going to come in and I'm kind of using my brush strokes to give me that texture. See, I'm not totally mixing everything. I'm dabbing in this hair. See that, Jilly? Yes. And she's going to, it's going to be a bit more tedious for her. She's got her 
her pot going on, but it's just the base layer of your pot, so don't get too worried about that. Is anybody painting with something besides acrylic out there? Okay, bye, Miss Angela. She's got to go do some errands. Say bye to Miss Angela. Bye, Miss Angela. Jilly, and I love Miss Angela. She is a wonderful person. Gift with teenage girls. She works with. She works with a bunch of teenage girls, and she is has a gift. Okay, so then I have this gray. You can notice I just kind of dabbed it in there like that. I'm not gonna do his shoes. You did? That's okay. And if you need me to repeat a step, and you can see I kind of covered up my leprechaun's um, four leaf clover there, but that's okay. I might come in with just some pure white, still with my dirty brush, but dab in some of that. Katie, didn't you guys join us for this at Chick-fil-A? I thought you did. You're going to have a whole herd of gnomes at your house if you did. Well, I guess you can't have too many gnomes, can you? Hi, Kim! Aunt Kim's on here. Hi. All the way from Maryland. She is my best friend from college. It's okay. You can catch up later, Miss Kim. We're painting gnomes today for St. Patrick's Day. I tried to tell everybody it was Thanksgiving. My brain's all kinds of confused. We miss you, too. All right, so there we go. We've got all of our base layers, except for my little doodad of a thing over here. I'm just gonna touch in some white. Just some white in here. I'm gonna keep the red of my hat white. Maybe a little bit of green. My green dried up. Right. Basically, yep. Well, because I didn't put a lot out. I am pretty, um, I don't put a ton of paint out on my palette. Oh, you were at Sutter's Fort for Valentine's. Okay, so good. Now you have some gnomes. Just giving him a little light green. Can you see the beard closer, Mom? Yeah. I will hold it up just a minute, Courtney. Looks like mine has a goatee. <laughs> it does. You'll have that little all come together. I'm going to put... Does that help, nope. Miss Courtney? How's that? So see how I just kind of dabbed the paint in there? Started with gray and then I just dabbed some fresh white. And I'll add some more with a little brush for some highlights and details in a little bit. Okay? Ooh, all right, good. You're welcome. Okay, now we're kind of at the part where we can add some details. So <clears throat> I've blocked in all my colors and now we need to come in and add more details, maybe some shadows and highlights because he's a little bit monotone. We need to bring in some darks and some lights. I'm going to kind of highlight his nose and change the color a little bit. Um, I just smeared that there. That's okay. Um, yeah, this is kind of the phase, like the end of the hot mess phase I always tell in my paint classes because there's always a phase you got to move through where everybody, or at least most of the people are like, oh my goodness, I hate it. It looks like a mess, and that's okay because we were just blocking in our colors. Now we're gonna be adding those details and we're gonna be adding those highlights and shadows, and that's gonna pull our hot mess together and give it that 
emphasis and um, that we want. You gotta make your milkshake yourself, Robin. That's where it is. Or you can go to the drive-thru. I think that's probably okay, isn't it? You gotta do this part of your hat? Oh, you did it white? Yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna start out giving my hat some more details. <clears throat> I'm gonna load up my paint a little bit. So I had said I only um, put, I don't put a ton of paint on my palette because I can always add more, but it's hard to put it back in the tube and I try to be conservative because paint is, um, it costs money. So it's always add, easier to add more than to put it back, right? So I'm going to use my round brush. I'm going to come in. I think I'm going to give him some stripes, some white stripes in his hat. So I want to have a little bit of green in it, though. So Oopsie. now I'm going to come in and do some stripes. And I have a little bit of green in there. And so, see, I'm not being perfect about it. I kind of like that look of that texture and... And I'm following, and this is also going to help us follow the shape of that hat, make it look slouchy. So I'm going to kind of bring my stripes closer together over here, like that. And then I'm going to give him some over here, and I'm going a little out of the lines, and that's okay because I still have to come in with my other lines for emphasis and we're gonna come in with some black at the end. Okay. There we go. Striped hat on our happy gnome. I'm gonna dab some more white there. Add the gold over here. I like the thickness of that paint there. Okay. Oh, you went ahead and added highlights to your shoes already. Oh, and then I'm going to come in and give him a little bit of one right in here. On the brim of his hat. See that? Then I'm going to wipe it off. Now I'm going to come in... And I'm going to, I want, this nose is bothering me. So, I'm gonna kind of make it a little bit pink. I'm gonna crisp up his hands. white on the top, like that. Oh, I turned it a little pink. I like that better. And see how I didn't totally mix my colors? I just did the darker, leaving the darker on the bottom and leaving the white at the top to give it that highlight look, okay? All right. Yeah. So, we need to fix my, so my leprechauns, I'm just going to put a little more green into that again for a second layer. Too much paint, so I'm just going to. like how some of those yellows are showing through. I'm doing that. Okay. Bring that in. All right. Brushing out. Turn that over. Hi, Miss Siggy. I think you're probably the one on here that's known me the longest. Siggy's known me since I was a little kid. I'm on here. 
but I've only known you for 12 years. Siggy's known me since I was younger than 12. She is a good friend of our families. Spent a lot of time with us. Hi, Miss Lisa. Okay. All right, so what's next? You did? Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to come in here and do some on my shoes, some highlights and shadows. So I'm going to get a little bit of that white and the purple and come and do a stroke here. Maybe a little black along the bottom. That. Give it some weight. Can I use the end of this one? What? The end of it for my you may. gold. Sure. She wants to put little dots of gold. Show them your little making a dot tip. So you take the end of your paintbrush and you dip it in. The, br the side that has no bristles. She's going to dip it and then making little dots for her gold. You might need more paint. Make it thicker. Little tip from Jilly to you. What? Hold it closer. Noah says. So you, can you see the little dots she's making with the tip of her brush? It's not quite built up yet. It's not built up yet. She's building it up. You might need thicker paint on your palette yeah, for that. Okay? I'm just brushing this out a little bit. My strokes were a bit big. That's okay. Happy accidents, right? Who, who on here knows who says, there's no mistakes in art, just happy accidents? Who said that? Whoever wins gets a thumbs up. What? Whoever wins gets a thumbs up. Yeah, Noah says whoever wins gets a thumbs up. All right. And I'm going to give him a little bit. So mine's pretty dark, but I want to give a little bit of a difference underneath his feet there for a shadow so he's not floating in space. So I'm actually going to use... Um, some blue and black, and I'm just going to do some lines very loosely, dipping in my blue and my black. Kim Clark won. Bob Ross, Kim won. Go, Kim! So I'd be disappointed if she didn't know it. She was my art buddy in college. That's how we got to know each other, taking all the art classes. All right, so see that? It might be hard to see, but I just mixed some black and some blue there, and gave him something to be standing on a little bit of substance all right now we just need to add our emphasis emphasis it's fun to say that word like that emphasis so we're going to do our emphasis with some white for highlights and black and i'm going to pull out if you have a little brush sometimes your neighbor steals your little brush. I asked. I know. So I'm going to steal hers because she had one and she didn't know. But that doesn't oh. have a bolted. Hers didn't have a round end. So anyway. So for my emphasis, I like to do the white first because sometimes that black can be trickier to wash out. So I'm going to use my little tiny liner brush. I am going to roll the end here and I'm going to come in and do just some lines. Well, so of course we've already got enough right there, but I'm going to give a little bit there. I'm going to come in on my little four leaf clover here and you're going to see these things, their definition is going to start to come out. It's going to help us add some form and shape to these different elements of our, I'm gonna come in along here too. 
See that, Jilly? Yeah. I am coming along. Even though my stripes, these are different. These are white stripes, but I'm putting some white. That's more of a highlight, building up that form. Okay? And then I'm even going to come in here with some different... So the brush strokes are going to be a little bit different with my little brush on my beard. And that's going to give us a little bit of variety. So I'm going to just touch in here with this, with my white. And that gray is drying up pretty fast. So So anyway, so if you know anybody else anywhere in the country that is or outside of the country, good call Noah, that could use a little art in their lives. We would love for you to give us a share. And I'm even gonna use that white to kinda, I had a little bit of my pink nose come out of the lines. So bringing that white up, see that? How he's starting to take shape? I know, it's filling. Okay. Oh, she's got, Gold spilling everybody, everywhere. <laughs> so now you can see her little dots better of her gold. See that? Very clever. So I'm going to, I painted out my brush on my paper towel. I'm going to give it a wash. Drying it up. And now I'm going to come in with some fresh black. I'm going to turn my brush on the edge so it's got a nice little point. And now I'm gonna come in and do some black lines. So I'm gonna kind of follow that line first where that hat separates. See that, how that helped that separate and pop there a little bit? Ooh, hi, Lisa. Lisa Randall's on, I haven't talked to her in forever. And I'm gonna come around here and do the same I'm not being super careful to make sure my line is always consistent. See that, how my line kind of skips? It's just to give a little bit of emphasis and shape, and help those edges crisp up just a little bit. I like the, oops, had a little water on my brush and now it's dripping, but that is okay. I shall get it with my paper towel. I'm going to make sure my brush is nice and dry. And I'm going to, and I'm going to even come around here, redefine this part of the hat a little bit. See that? Got that black on there just to give it a little bit of shape. And then I'm going to come around at the bottom of the nose. Not a, not a dramatic shape, but not a dramatic line all the way around, but just enough to give it a little oomph. And then I'm going to come under here. Do the same thing for the hands. <laughs> I made a little bread. She's putting tags on her hat. See, that's what I love. Okay, so now I need to do it to my, sorry, it's the shine is, give my, rugby's massaging your foot? Yeah, keeping my foot warm. He's good at that, that boy. Even though it covers his And so I'm kind of coming in here and defining my Four leaf clover a bit and I'm not being perfect about it and I'm kind of see that so see how all those things are popping together that black line and the white now we've got some good contrast and some emphasis all right okay yeah you the only thing I noticed is you need to get your shadow so he's not Covering in space. So I did mine with 
because my background was purple, so black I did blue purple. and black. But you could do purple, but don't use, I would not use any of the purple with the white. Because remember, so the white, she's got a very lavender color, and so that has a lot of white in it. And it makes it cloudy and opaque, which is what it's supposed to do. But if you're going to go in for a shadow, you want something that's... Um, doesn't have that white in there so I would suggest making your own purple with the red and the blue no white and adding if it needs to be darker a touch of black and then just your and it will look there you go that's a nice purple Brenna just wants for she what wants what Brenna wants hers to hover <laughs> Brenna wants a hovering gnome of course she does <laughs> Brenna always thinking outside of the box. Robin loves your gold, Jilly. Okay, so I'm about, I think mine's going to be pretty done. Be rich. Yeah. Get in here. She's just, so, okay, so that is about it. Don't forget to show your gnomes to us. Jilly, get your gnome up here. I think my Instagram went dead. Did it? Oh. That's okay. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us. I think that we oh. will um, be back in a couple days. Shoot some ideas down here. Peanuts. Yes, we know. Oliver wants to paint Snoopy and Peanuts, which is pretty funny because that was my favorite thing to draw when I was learning to draw. I can't tell you how many Snoopies I drew over a... Um, over his little red doghouse. It was my favorite thing. And then, um, is are any of you joining me on that other challenge? I did a sunflower last night. I haven't even looked at what the subject is today, so that would be awesome if you join me on that. And that's with Priscilla George over on Instagram. So thanks again from Jilly and Christy at Joyful Art Studio. See you soon.